All right, hey, what's going on, guys? So happy Thanksgiving. Wanted to give you guys this quick word of encouragement. I'm in a lobby right now of a building and just sitting here and taking a lot of time just to reflect, be thankful, to be grateful for what I have. And a lot of us right now in this season, we're looking at our life circumstance, we're looking at ourselves, and we're saying to ourselves, man, why is it that God is putting me, putting me in this situation? Why is it that I have to go through these things? And we're looking at and focusing in on the wrong things. If you look around me, this place is empty right now, and I'll just show you real quick, but this building, this lobby, this place, there's not many people. There's people here that are just walking through, passing by, and I'm looking at it, and a lot of us would look at it and be like, man, why am I so lonely? Why is it that God has put, it, put me here where nobody can see me, nobody can hear me, nobody can do what um, I, that I wanna do with them? And we look at our situation and our lives, and we don't think, and we don't look at it in the perspective of how God may be putting us there. And when I look at the situation, I'm not lonely. I'm not in a place where there's emptiness. I'm thinking to myself, Lord, thank you that I have a quiet place, a place that early in the morning that I can spend some time, that I can meditate, I can do this video for people without distraction. And I frame it in a different way. And I want to read this verse because a lot of us, we don't really understand what this means. Philippians 4 uh, verse 10 says, or verse 11, not that I'm speaking of being in need for I have learned in whatever circumstance or, or rather situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And so just quickly to encourage you guys in this season, there's a lot of us, you're looking at your life, you're looking at your circumstance. And a lot of us, we can't see outside of the frame of reference our own bias, our own perspective. But if you look at it from a different way that God has put you in, and a lot of times God has you exactly where he wants you. He wants you to go through this uh, circumstance. He wants you to go through that trial. He wants you to experience what you're going through. And we look at it and we're so discontent. We're looking at it and we're like, man, I want this. I want more of that. I want to be uh, over there. The grass is greener on this side and you know, yada, yada, yada. But we're all complaining. We're all doing all these different things, except being content, being in, in uh, joy uh, in what God has put us through and what God is in. And so instead of comparing yourself, instead of thinking I'm lacking, I am, uh, I need this, I want that, Lord. And it's not bad to pray and ask for these things, especially if God has called you to that job. God has called you to uh, have resources for that calling that you're in. But because our attitude, our perspective, our frame of mind, we look around us and we're like, man, this place is empty. I wish there were people here that can be with me. I wish that it, it can be filled with what I want in this place. But I look at it and God looks at it from a different perspective. And he looks at it so that you can spend time with him, that you can have and be in that uh, trial, that temptation, that circumstance or whatever it is for a season. Because a lot of us, if we just uh, switch our frame of reference, if we just switch how God is uh, wanting us to look at life, our, our perspective, then just like how Paul, he was content, just like how he can be content in every uh, circumstance, whether you're brought low, whether you're high, whether you have a lot, whether you have a little, whatever it is. But a lot of us were greedy. A lot of us, we envy. A lot of us were uh, jealous and we want this and that. But in this season, especially as I am thankful and I'm grateful for what God has in my life, I can desire for all these different things. I can desire for that. I can compare with this person. But right now, I'm thankful. I'm happy that I have what I have. I'm grateful for, for, for my family, for the friends, for the people that are around me. And I'm going to go through this season and I'm going to say, Father, whatever your will is for my life, I accept it. I want it and I want to uh, walk in that. And so uh, God has that for you. He has it for you. And so again, guys, be thankful. The season, happy Thanksgiving. God loves you, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.